All right, folks, this video, we're going to do a BIOS update with the MSI Pro B760M-A Wi-Fi DDR4. This one does not have a BIOS flashback button, so we're going to actually do our BIOS update through M-Flash. Uh, before we do that, though, I'm going to show you how to get that BIOS. And if you happen to go to uh, inside of your BIOS, which is what we're looking at, you can see the BIOS version right here, right? Uh, this is probably the original BIOS. Now I'm going to use this Gigastone USB 2.0, all right? It happens to be 128 gigs. You uh, are better off using a smaller stick than this, but uh, this one has worked great in probably 50 BIOS update videos. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go with this. So first thing, let's go get that uh, BIOS file. All right, folks, so first thing we're going to do is go to a search engine like uh, Google. And hopefully I can remember the name of this thing. MSI Pro B60M-A Wi-Fi DDR4. And we want this first link. So we'll click on that. And let me blow this up a little bit. All right, so. This website's a little different than the last time I went and used this, but it should be, uh, we'll click on this support here. Nope, wrong support, folks. Usually there's a support, ah, there it is. That is so weird. It wasn't there a second ago. <laughs> All right, so you don't want this top support. You want this one. And then you want to go to BIOS, shown there. And we can see that they've done a couple of BIOS updates here. Uh, our BIOS is older than uh, what's actually shown on here. Now, I always like to read these descriptions. New BIOS release, update, CP, microcode, uh, support, XFAT file system, blah, blah, blah memory compatibility lock block feature new new added wow I wonder if you can adjust the block frequency on this thing to 102.5 from 100 that'll give you a nice boost update CP microcode and flash hotkey okay so uh, we want to grab the newest so wherever you are folks you would grab the one at the very top all right um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. Sometimes I won't always grab the newest in case I screw up the video, but uh, in this case, we're grabbing the newest one. So I'm going to open this. Now, the reason I read the descriptions is, you know, hey, was it even worth doing uh, the BIOS update? And in this case, you know, it might it might actually be worth it, all right? Um, some of the things that were there... That we didn't really talk about improve memory compatibility improve memory compatibility improve, improve memory compatibility uh, that is always a great thing all right so we want to right mouse click on this file extract all in case you are wondering this file folks gets downloaded to your downloads folder right so you click on this pc you'll see downloads there it was. I right mouse clicked on it, unzipped it, extracted it all, and there's our file. All right. Now inside of here, we can just grab this file. This is the actual BIOS file, and put it on our thumb drive. All right. So I'm gonna paste that in there. And once that's done copying, folks, we're gonna take it over to our computer and update the BIOS. So it is copied. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in our thumb drive. Oops. These doohickeys sometimes don't always go in on the first try, especially if you're trying to do it with one hand. All right. So that's in. Now if we come back over here. So we want to be in easy mode, all right? which is um, up here 
we're currently in easy mode. If I click on that, we'll be in advanced mode. All right. I want to click over here where it has flash mode. System will auto reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? Heck yeah, let's do it. All right. So before we really go ahead and do this, folks, um, we want to ensure the weather's good. All right. You want to have nothing but sun out there, maybe some clouds, but you do not want thunderstorms. If you're in Florida, you know, and you've got those afternoon thunder boomers in the summertime, not such a good thing. Florida's got hurricanes, you know, a lot of, a lot of places have hurricanes. But uh, if you're up in Alaska, watch out for blizzards, you know, all those things that could cause your power to go out. Those are what you uh, are most concerned about and do not want to have... The power go out during your update all right so if the weather looks bad push this off to another day now here's our file right here folks so we're gonna left mouse click are you sure you want to select this file heck yeah so bios is updating this should take six to eight minutes now i'm gonna let this uh continue to record not because i want you know extra view time because i Believe me, I have plenty of it on this channel. But uh, I'm just doing it so you have a really good idea how long this takes, all right? Minimal, um, I won't even say there's any editing that was done in this video. It was uh, pretty much, you know, recorded. A couple of pauses here as I went from one computer to the other. But otherwise, this, this is, uh, so far, has taken you close to 6 minutes and 42 seconds. And this BIOS update is going pretty fast, so. Sixty percent of the way there. So I also will um, make a BIOS overview video. We've done an unboxing video for this. We did installation, which in this video, or uh, excuse me, prior to this video, we took the i3 13100F and installed it. As well as one sticker ran, Mac 2 a CPU cooler, so um, you should check that video out. Now we'll probably do one other installation video with this CPU or with this motherboard. Sorry. All right, we're at 97%, uh, almost there, and you can see. That it's going to uh, reboot just like it did may reboot a couple times before it's done now nice thing about this motherboard right out of the package good for um, 12th and 13th gen CPUs, unlike the uh, motherboard that came before this, the MSI Pro B660M-A Wi-Fi DDR4, you need to do the BIOS update beforehand. Alright, so it's actually asking you about your uh, CPU cooler, which is interesting. You can uh, hit this and... Uh, It'll adjust, it looks like, your power limit, so that's a good thing. But there you go, folks. This thing is uh, ready to go. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.